Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. So today I'm going to be sharing some very exciting news with you guys. So recently I received this package from Nail Addict, and Nail Addict is a nail polish company, and they sent me these colors that I chose. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and show you guys what I chose and the colors and the nail paint bottles. So the first color I chose was Sandman. The second one was dark and classy. The third one was never been so chic. The fourth one was sea swing and sun. And finally, the last one was precious mate. So I tried them on and the colors I tried on are precious mate and sandman. So they have many more beautiful colors you can check out on their website. These are just the colors I chose and I decided to try two of them on to show you guys for this video. So if you buy a minimum of two nail polishes from their website, you can use my code aesthetics with me to get 50% off. And I just wanted to give a heads up that if there is already a sale on their website, this promo code will unfortunately not work. For example, right now there is a Black Friday sale going on, so this promo code will not work. But when there isn't a sale, you can feel free to use it. The link to their website will be in the description down below, so you can go ahead and check them out. As I was trying these nail paints on, I thought of the idea of creating a theme based on salons and beauty salons. So here's the theme I created, and now we are going to go ahead and do a tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay guys, so I'm going to move on to the theme portion of this video. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to do your coloring. So um, let me find mine. Here it is. And I've done a coloring tutorial on TikTok. So I will just um, put the video on the side and you guys can go on my TikTok and check it out. So what we're going to do is here is the theme I've made. It is a beauty salon theme. And here's how it looks. So I'm just going to do a tutorial on this. So we're going to start with the header. It's pretty easy. It's not really a header. It's kind of just like literally two words. Um, but the font we're going to use is garlic salt. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into garlic salt and use the letter capital J. And the color codes, um, I will put them up on the screen so you can go ahead and use them. Okay, so you're going to make it let's say about that big and um so i did the size 136 and then i'm gonna write um welcome to and the font is green lemonade the color is going to be white and then we're going to do a little curvy curve curve action you know what i mean sorry i just i don't know where that came from um after you've done that you are going to um, take this. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to remove the curve and I'm going to write beauty so copy and the font for this is it's I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know. But something like that. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys know the spelling. Um, and then we're going to do this other one, other font. And, um, again, the color codes were on the screen, so you guys already know the color codes. And I'm just going to do ooh, this one. So you can obviously go ahead and use your own color codes if you don't want to use the ones I'm using. But, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the text and I'm going to use the font Poppy. And I'm going to use one of these squiggly things and put it right at the top. Then I'm going to take another one and put it in the bottom so it's in the two different corners. Then I'm going to take this garlic salt thing, add a square. So I'm going to add three squares. I'm going to put one here, one here, and one up top here. Let me just move this over a bit so it's a little more centered. Then I'm going to go ahead and just choose different colors for each because, you know, nail polishes need to be different colors. Then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make the color black. And I'm going to size it down a bit. 
so it can fit up there. And I'm just going to do that with all three of the nail polishes, or the attempted nail polishes, because I don't know how good it looks. Next, we're going to use the Care Around Dingbats, and I'm going to use the sparkly thing. We're going to make the color white, and I'm going to put one around each. We're going to make these a little smaller, and I'm going to put one um, on each lid for the, for the nail paints, nail polishes, just like that. And there we go. We have the header all finished. That was pretty easy. Now we're going to move on to the question of the day. So literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to write question of the day. And I'm going to use the font. It is called um, KG Skinny Latte. And I'm going to add a stroke. So I'm going to do the width 14. And then I'm just going to make a gradient on the inside with all of my color codes. Again, you can use your own color codes if you want. Actually, I'm going to make this stroke a bit, bit bigger. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, for the bottom where it's his nail salon, I'm just going to write, you can just write whatever you want. Honestly, so I'm just going to write random stuff because randomness is the best. And we're going to do keep on tracking and, um, whoa, that's a lot of words, letters. So I'm going to delete a few. Okay, that seems good enough. And what you're going to do is you're going to go duplicate it add color add a gradient to the text then make add the same gradient for the um stroke make it pretty like thick just like that and i'm just going to move it over a bit now we are going to move on to this book and appointment so literally you're going to take these two this one i'm going to go book in app app so um because i didn't have enough room to spell appointment i literally just wrote app because i feel like people should get the people should get it you know and then i'm going to use this so what we're going to do is we're going to write where it says register so you can just copy what I'm writing and I'm going to write phone. So, phone, phone number, name, and what was the last one? Time. And the font we're going to do is April. You can obviously use your own fonts if you don't like the fonts I'm choosing. That's up to you. And then we're going to add a background. So you're going to use one of the colors. Put the uh, opacity down. And then make the uh, corners rounded. Then you're going to duplicate it and you're going to remove the background. So put the opacity all the way down. And you can just start writing for the phone number. You can write like... I literally wrote one, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to use the letter D and you're going to make the text white. And this is going to be a little table at the bottom. So a little beauty table, you know, as shown here. And um, this is made all with fonts or my creativity, as you may say. Um, so you're going to use the font garlic salt for this i use garlic salt for every single thing here and um we're going to start with the eyeshadow palette so you're going to use the letter b and to make the eyeshadow palette and then you're gonna 
going to make it a little smaller. Then you're going to take the letter A and make four squares per row. So three squares of four. So no, three rows of four. Yes, that's how you say it. Three rows of four. And then each box can be like a different color. Where did orange come from? I don't even know. And then you have to adjust the spacing a bit to get it just right because it's kind of hard to adjust it. And then you can just place it right there. Now this is supposed to be a blush palette if you couldn't tell, or not a blush palette, a blush. So we're just gonna use the circle. And on the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a dark pink. And then on the top, I'm gonna add a more rosy, lively, I guess you can say, pink. The bottom is more of like a burgundy than a pink, but still works. That looks awesome. Yay. Okay, then I'm going to use the, um, which one was it? Yes, it was the letter E. And I'm going to make the background brown. This is going to be like a... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three squares. So the letter A. And then I'm going to make them all different colors. So the first one is going to be bronzer. It can litter. I, I'll just make the brown. Second one is going to be highlighter. So I'll just add a pink. Third one, I don't know. So I'm just going to add another pink. Even though we already have a blush. I guess we can have two blushes. Then you can just size it down nope not that small and space it out a bit then what you're gonna do is you're going to use the letter d and make it black to put a little little um applicator brush thing down there you know so you can like apply the things next i'm gonna make some lipstick so i'm gonna use the letter e then i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to add a so we're gonna have this shade then you're gonna make the size smaller and just put it right above like that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the triangle which is the letter o tilt it over to add that little like chisel tip type of effect oh and take the shadow away because otherwise it doesn't look like it doesn't look good why is the lipstick lipstick like bigger than some of the palettes? This doesn't sit right with me. I guess we just have some big, like, big lipstick things, whatever they're called. Or we have small palettes, you never know. Then you're going to take the letter D and you're going to tilt it over. So I'm going to make two of these. These are going to be brushes. Actually, I'm just going to make one just because we don't have enough space. Because my lipstick took over. And you're going to use the triangle, which is the letter O, and flip it upside down. And that will be the brush, like the bristles of the brush. And there you go. That is it for the theme. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to save this in my camera roll. And then what you can do is you can just go onto CapCut and um, add the sharpen effect. And that is it for this theme. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.